Let me ask you this. Do you think cancer is a single disease or a group of diseases? If you said the latter, you're right. Cancer is not one thing, but many things. It's a condition where abnormal cells grow out of control and spread to other parts of the body. There are more than 200 types and subtypes of cancers that can affect anyone anywhere. Every day, we produce 200 to 1,000 cancerous cells, but our immune system usually destroys them before they can cause any harm. But if it can't do this in time, these cells can spread and turn into cancer. What you may not know here is that some foods contain special compounds that can actually kill cancer cells and prevent them from growing anywhere. In this video, we will reveal the top 12 foods that have anti-cancer properties and how they work according to studies. So without further ado, let's get started. Number one, broccoli. Broccoli is like a superhero in the veggie world. It is a powerhouse of antioxidants, vitamins, minerals, and phytochemicals. One of them is sulforaphane, which has been shown to inhibit the growth of various types of cancer cells, such as breast, prostate, colon, and lung. Sulforaphane also activates enzymes that detoxify carcinogens and prevents inflammation. You can eat broccoli raw, cooked, steamed, or roasted. Try adding some garlic, lemon juice, and olive oil for extra flavor and health benefits. Number two, garlic. Speaking of garlic, this pungent bulb is another anti-cancer food that you should include in your diet. Garlic contains allicin, which is a compound that has antibacterial and anti-cancer properties. Allicin can block the formation of nitrosamines, which are carcinogens formed in the stomach when you eat processed meats. It has been shown in studies that allicin can cause cell death in cancer cells, particularly in stomach, colon, and breast cancers. Garlic also boosts your immune system and helps prevent infections. You can eat garlic raw, cooked, or as a supplement. Just make sure to crush or chop it before consuming to release its active ingredients. Number three, turmeric. This yellow spice is widely used in Indian cuisine and has many health benefits. Turmeric contains curcumin, which is a compound that has anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and anti-tumor effects. Studies suggest that curcumin might hinder the growth of cancer cells by affecting some genes involved in cell growth, cell death, blood vessel formation, and cancer spread. Curcumin can also enhance the effectiveness of chemotherapy and radiation therapy. You can add turmeric to your soups, stews, curries, rice dishes, or smoothies. You can also take it as a supplement or as a tea. Number four, berries. Berries are delicious fruits that are rich in antioxidants, such as anthocyanins, flavonoids, and vitamin C. These antioxidants protect your cells from free radical damage and oxidative stress, which are major causes of cancer. Berries also contain ellagic acid, which is a phytochemical that can inhibit the growth of cancer cells and induce self-destruction in cancer cells, also known as apoptosis. Some of the best berries for fighting cancer are blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, blackberries, and cranberries. Before we continue, if you have been enjoying the video so far, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss more videos like this. Number five, green tea. Green tea is one of the most popular beverages in the world and has many health benefits. Green tea is rich in antioxidants called cavicans. These compounds have anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer properties. One of them is epidelicatechin 3 gallate which can inhibit the activity of enzymes that promote cancer growth and invasion. EGCG can also enhance the effects of chemotherapy and prevent drug resistance. You can drink green tea or take it as a supplement or as an extract. Number six, tomatoes. Tomatoes are juicy fruits that are rich in lycopene which is a plant pigment that gives them their red color. Lycopene is a powerful antioxidant that can protect your cells from oxidative damage and prevent DNA mutations. Lycopene can also modulate the expression of genes involved in cell cycle regulation, apoptosis, and blood vessel formation. Lycopene has been linked to lower risk of prostate cancer, breast cancer, 
lung cancer, and colorectal cancer. You can eat tomatoes raw, cooked, or processed. You can also make them into sauces, soups, or salads. Number seven, flax seeds. Flax seeds are tiny seeds that are high in omega-3 fatty acids, lignans, and fiber. Omega-3 fatty acids are essential fats that have anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer effects. Your body doesn't make omega-3s on its own, so you need to take them from your diet. They can inhibit the production of prostaglandins, which are hormones that stimulate tumor growth and angiogenesis. Lignans are phytoestrogens that can bind to estrogen receptors and block the action of estrogen on breast cancer cells. Fiber can help lower your cholesterol levels and improve your bowel movements. Fiber can also bind to toxins and carcinogens in your gut and eliminate them from your body. You can eat flax seeds whole or ground. You can also add them to your cereals, breads, muffins, or smoothies. Number eight, mushrooms. Mushrooms are edible fungi that have many medicinal properties. Mushrooms contain polysaccharides, such as beta-glucans. These can stimulate your immune system and activate natural killer cells, macrophages, and T cells. These cells can recognize and destroy cancer cells and prevent their spread. Mushrooms also contain ergosterol, a precursor of vitamin D, which can regulate cell growth and differentiation. You can eat mushrooms fresh, dried, or as extracts. Number 9. Kale Kale is a leafy green vegetable that belongs to the cruciferous family, along with broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, and Brussels sprouts. Kale is loaded with antioxidants such as carotenoids, flavonoids, and vitamin C. These little warriors take on free radicals, the troublemakers that can harm our cells and set the stage for cancer. By neutralizing these molecules, kale helps lower the risk of certain cancers. Kale also contains glucosinolates, which are compounds that turn into bioactive substances that can fight cancer in your body. You can eat kale raw, cooked, or juiced. You can also make kale chips by baking them in the oven with some olive oil and salt. Number 10. Walnuts. Walnuts are crunchy nuts that are rich in omega-3 fatty acids, polyphenols, and phytosterols. Omega-3 fatty acids can reduce inflammation and inhibit tumor growth and spread. Polyphenols are antioxidants that can protect your cells from oxidative stress and regulate the expression of genes involved in cell death, cell, and DNA repair. And phytosterols are plant chemicals that can slow down and even stop the growth of cancerous tumors. They work by blocking the receptors that cancer cells use to get hormones and nutrients from your blood. You can eat walnuts raw or roasted. You can also add them to your salads, desserts, or granola bars. Number 11. Pomegranates. Pomegranates are bursting with antioxidants, especially punicalogens and anthocyanins, which are potent in neutralizing those pesky free radicals that can damage cells and potentially lead to cancer. Studies suggest that the antioxidants in pomegranates might hinder the growth and spread of cancer cells, particularly in breast and prostate cancers. You can eat pomegranates fresh or as juice. You can also take them as supplements or extracts. Number 12. Dark chocolate. You might be surprised to hear it, but dark chocolate can actually prevent cancer. This is because it's packed with flavanols, which are natural compounds found in cocoa beans, the main ingredient of chocolate. These flavanols can neutralize free radicals, which are the unstable molecules that can harm your DNA and cause mutations that lead to cancer. They can also inhibit the activity of nuclear factor kappa B which regulates the expression of genes involved in inflammation, cell survival, and invasion. Make sure to eat dark chocolate with at least 70% cocoa content. So there you have it, the top 12 foods that prevent and kill cancer cells. Of course, eating these foods alone is not enough to prevent or cure cancer. You also need to avoid smoking, limit alcohol intake, exercise regularly, manage stress, and get enough sleep. And remember to consult your doctor before making any changes to your diet or taking any supplements. Now we want to hear from you. Do you eat some of these foods regularly? Do you have other foods you want to share with us? Let us know in the comments below.
Thanks for watching.